guys welcome back to my youtube channel so for those of you who don't know me my name is aritza i'm super excited for today's video so we're going to be diving into eyebrows this has definitely been a long waited video i don't know why i put this video off for so long but here we are um i'm going to be teaching you guys what brow pencil i use what brow gel i use so if you want to learn how to get eyebrows like mine then please be sure to keep on watching if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel so to start off, we're going to go in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and the shade that I'm going to be using is in brown. So I normally start my brows off by giving myself a shape and I'll just follow the same shape that I already have and then we'll go in and create some hair like strokes so that way we get the fluffiness and the fullness and our brows will look a lot thicker. When you're going in and creating these hair like strokes, you don't want to go too far above or below your natural eyebrow shape. The point of this is to keep them looking subtle but still have that full look. So for this front part of your eyebrow that's more towards your nose, you want to still keep everything super light. Um, this is what's going to give you that effect of it looking more natural. You don't want them to look blocky. And then for this next part, we're going to go in and create an arch and kind of give ourselves that thickness at the top. So you're going to want to do your hair like strokes going downwards or whatever natural way your hair wants to grow. So for the other eyebrow, you want to keep in mind that they're never going to look exactly the same, but definitely try and get them to look as similar as possible. And we're just going to go through the same exact steps that we went through with the other eyebrow. And you want to be sure that you're brushing everything through to distribute all the product evenly. Also, it's totally okay if you go a little bit over your natural hairline, only because we're going to go back in and clean everything up with concealer. Next, you're going to want to pull out whatever concealer you use for your under eyes. I normally like to keep everything the same exact color because it keeps it looking cohesive. We're just going to use a flat shadow brush. I normally like to use a tiny one so that way it'll come out more detailed and I have more precision whenever I am cleaning my eyebrows up. So you're going to want to go in and basically just clean up your line so that way it gives you a sharper effect. And then once we're done with that, we'll kind of move to the top and shape everything. And still keeping in mind you want to follow your natural hairline. And I always like to use a little bit of product at a time just because I used to find myself completely going overboard and putting way too much concealer and then I had to work 10 times harder just to blend it out. So just keep little things like that in mind because it makes the job a lot easier. So normally before I put eyeshadow on or foundation on or anything like that, I will start off with my eyebrows. Honestly, it depends on what process is easier for you, but for me, it's always before I even put eyeshadow on because I kind of have a good idea of where I want to place my cut crease or just where I want to blend up to. So it depends on you guys, but for me, the, for the purpose of this video, I just did it while I had eyeshadow on already because I was not trying to look crazy. So for this next part, this is what's going to pull your whole eyebrow look together and this is what's going to make it look more detailed. So once you're done filling them in and you have a good shape going, then you're going to want to go in with a brow gel. This is the Anastasia brow gel in the shade chocolate. So I just wiped off whatever excess uh, product is on my brush and then we're just going to go in and like lightly coat our eyebrows and a good tip 
that I would probably recommend is use a darker brow pencil but then a lighter brow gel because then it kind of gives your brows like a highlighted look and it softens them up. For me this is good because I have darker eyebrows like my natural color is super dark so I always like to lighten them up a little bit more and this is the perfect way to do it. So for this part, I'm just going to use whatever excess product is on my eyebrow pencil wand and we're just going to go ahead and brush that eyebrow gel through a little bit more and kind of mesh everything together. Introduced you guys to him yet, but this is him. 